Good morning, people. <laughs> I should have taken those away. <laughs> I just landed in. Oh, welcome back. Have you been here before? Why do I feel like I'm not very loud? What? Yeah. And if you're stumbling across this from a weird internet rabbit hole, this is hashtag, hashtag just, just saying. saying. While we're prostituting ourselves, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell like it owes you money. And it will let you know when we upload new content. You can watch First 40 on the YouTubes. Listen where streaming things stream. You can watch pre-show banter on TikTok. And as of this week, you can watch a uh, bonus trivia episode. Yes. Uh, this week it is uh, Sean versus Joe. Yeah. It was a tie. It was, well, spoiler alert, it was a tie. I wasn't saying that. <laughs> or was it? Prostitution complete, gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, they, we, we have buzzes and everything. Wow. With the design on it, can look like a fly. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed it, didn't I? All right. Yeah. How's your week? Oh, gosh, golly. <laughs> oh, damn Don't it. ask her how it ended. Story time. <laughs> oh. She's mad about something. Yeah. Well, there's a, a task at work that they've been having me do that I am not... It's called work. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's something spe specific. And <clears throat> I was told last week that I wouldn't be doing it this week, and I've been doing it this week, and I'm not happy. And then I looked... I wouldn't be either. They lied. And then I looked on the... Uh, the, the plan for Monday and I'm doing it again on Monday and I'm like this isn't right nope someone's someone's fallen <laughs> this isn't right but I had to go into the office on Wednesday I attended two meetings which uh, could have been emails <laughs> like this could have been an email one of them was a simple great job everybody and I'm like well yeah that could have been an email all in caps yeah. And the other one, because uh, the reason I had to go in this week was because the boss, the big boss, was in from Wisconsin. Oh. Wisconsin. What part? Yeah. I don't know. The, where the cheese is. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> every, every time I hear um, Wisconsin, I think about Mr. Kennedy. Oh. Well. From Green Bay, Wisconsin. I don't know where All she's right. from. But uh, it's somewhere in Wisconsin. Kennedy! And she really What's a likes. <laughs> Person who puts things in the box. Yeah. Packer. Yeah. <laughs> and she, she really likes the Packers. Does she? Yeah. Anyway, I had did a. Did they win uh, this year? No. No, they did not. We, we had the meeting, and then I went back to my cubicle. And then a few minutes later, the lady who sits uh, in the aisle across from me comes over and goes, they want to see you in the conference room. And I went, oh, that can't be good. And she goes, depends how you look at it. And I was like, that is very cryptic. Now I don't want to go. <laughs> so I went, and I get to think, and I used to have this joke with one of my old bosses with uh, at my old job. When I would get called to the office, I would say, is this a closed door conversation? <laughs> because any, any conversation that you have that requires the door being shut, that's not it's a good. serious conversation. Usually not good. Loose lips so, sink ships. <laughs> yeah, so I got to the thing, the, the conference room, and I, I walked in, and I was like, do you want me to close the door? <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, do you want to close the door? And I was like, no. I'd prefer it remain open. <laughs> just have, a, to, have a seat. I'd rather stand. <laughs> just for ventilation purposes? And then she goes, she goes, well, have, you know, have a seat. And I was like, okay. So I sat down, and then I was like, and I started to say something. She goes, well, I bet, I bet you're, you're curious why I had you come back in. And I was like, I thought it was because you couldn't get enough of me. Ah. <laughs> I was like, second helping Wednesdays. And she, she started laughing, which kind of made me feel bad about myself. <laughs> well, but it was just one of those, like, I just want to check in with you. How are you doing? Like this, How's the family? This like, could have been an email, too. <laughs> right. It's not your damn business. <laughs> or a phone call. Well, and then, and this is the, the thing that, I mean, aside from the meetings, this is the thing that really just 
buttered my toast as I, I walked in. I walked in and they were like, and I work on the third floor of a three-story building, okay. which is relevant information. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm top floor, bitch. I walked in <laughs> and they the were like, bitch. and they were like, oh, the restroom on this floor is closed all day. Why? And I was like, what? And they said, for maintenance. And I said, who messed up the bathroom so bad they need to close it all day? It wasn't you. It wasn't me. I had just gotten there. I had just gotten there. So now I'm like sitting there and I'm like, now I don't want to drink my Gatorade because now I have to go to a different, a whole new floor. Yeah. But like, a whole new set of rules. By the afternoon, I had to go and I was like, damn. Well, uh, the 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 thought occurred to me like I think I have to go to the bathroom, and then I said, you the know what? The maintenance should be done by then. Damn, it was all day. Damn, how long, how long it take to maintain a bathroom? I don't know. I do not know. <laughs> but when the thought hit me, I was like, I'm gonna have to go because now there's an elevator ride involved. Uh, we. So instead of this is what I did, instead of going to the second floor, <laughs> right? Yeah, I went down to the first floor. I was like, I'm gonna get a ride out of this. And I went all the way down. I rode the elevator. I was all like, I was like a little kid, I'm like, yay! Wee! Was the first floor one? I mean, it's too. <laughs> no, the first floor was fine. Uh, it, the only thing that sucks about the first floor is, is like a little cafe down there. So you get off the elevator and you get all that food waft. Waft. <laughs> I was like, oh. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. That's... What kind of food they got? Oh, they do like well in the morning they'll do like breakfast sandwiches and stuff, and then in the afternoon croissants. They just, yeah, they'll little have muffin. little, they'll have little treats. Real breakfast club. <laughs> some, some, ba- some bagels. They'll have little treats. Yeah. Little sandwich treats. Nothing. Now, now what do they do for lunch? I just said they have little sandwiches, <laughs> little sandwich treats. I guess I don't. So know. all day. They I just, don't know what they were doing, but it smelled s- pretty decent. They serve all day. I wanted in, but ha- I was like ham and nah. cheese. Ham. I, I don't know. <laughs> I've I've never been in there. Wow, that's the thing. I'm hey. sure it's fine. You work here, you get free food. I do what? not get free food. Oh, uh-uh. you gotta sucks. pay. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Joe. Joe, all of a sudden, is not on board with me uh, going to the cafe. Uh. Like, no, you gotta pay for that. You gonna get a discount like ten percent. Mm. And just to make you feel worse about yourself, you have to walk past a gym area. It's like a little <laughs> exercise area. I'm like, mm, yeah, going to guilty. cafe again. <laughs> <laughs> what would be funny actually would be to get something in the morning and stand there at the glass window as they're all working out. Be like, how you guys doing? <laughs> Breakfast is good. You're missing out. <laughs> those, Boy, are, this... those are carbs. No, not carbs. <laughs> Hell yeah! So paninis. Yeah, I've I've never had a panini. Yeah. It's a sandwich. I'm not fancy. It's just a sandwich with like grilled bread. <laughs> That's all it is. Grilled bread yeah. sandwich. Toasted grilled bread. This is not the... wet. Oh, I, hate <laughs> wet I hate wet bread. Sean's back. Yes. How was the school dance last oh. week? Oh, great! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cutting a rug. <laughs> The, the kids the old, were the old two step. Were they doing that thing that kids just bounce? Yes. Know? And whenever a Taylor Swift song came on, they were screaming the lyrics. Mm. Yeah. Like a whole, like you had about twenty to twenty five kids right in the center, mm-hmm. looking, facing each other, screaming the lyrics. Mm. Like wow. If you <laughs> the you know, stop bringing earplugs. <laughs> stop bringing earplugs. How many plugs. Taylor Swift songs did they play, Sean? <clears throat> two throughout the night. What else did they play? <laughs> <laughs> Anything, any songs that you knew? Like, oh, I know this song. Gangnam Style. Oh, they played oh, Gangnam, Gangnam Style? Style? Yeah. Wow. Uh, Cotton Eye Joe. Ugh. Oh. They played that. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's her worst song ever. <laughs> we, last, last week on the pre-show banter on the TikTok, I said, if you could erase one song off the planet, <laughs> what would it be? I said, Cotton Eye Joe. That shitty Titanic song. And blue. And that blue song. You remember that blue song? I hate that song. Blue. 
<laughs> I forget for, what you said. For me, I picked uh, Billy Joel. Oh, yeah, uh, you said Piano Man. Piano I, was, man. I took offense. <laughs> I was offended he said Piano Man. I'm like, what? Uh, for me, I'd start <laughs> off with the um, Baby Shark song. Oh, yeah. What, man, I'm not even going to, because once that gets out there. Christine, just... last week, Christine sent me this little video that she saw on Facebook. Mm-hmm. In some town some, somewhere, there's a fire truck that, while it's driving, it's playing the baby shark theme. Why? <laughs> it doesn't it, have to do with fires. No. What it should play is talking heads burning down the house. <laughs> <laughs> burning down the house. <laughs> well, great balls of fire. They great balls of fire. Good. You can get, we didn't stop the fire? Yeah. <laughs> you could have a whole fire medley. Oh. Yeah, do that instead of Baby Shark. Baby Shark doesn't make any sense. Sharks don't. Like, it's not the official theme. It's just, like, <laughs> made as a horn, sort of. Okay. Be re replayed ba over the thing. Baby. It's still odd. <laughs> like, oh, my God, I would tip that damn thing over. <laughs> yeah. I would not want to. I'm glad. I was going to say, I would not want to live in that town with that fire truck, but no, I don't. sir. I don't, so I'm fine with it. No, sir. Just don't show me the video. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So they played uh, they played some jams, you know. Yeah. Some. Yeah. You have some orange drink? <laughs> some, pop some popcorn? <laughs> no. I had they some know no food? Drink. Oh, they had snacks. I just, okay. I just didn't have any. Uh, okay. Me and, like, all the other dads were just standing around on our phones. Is it is it because <laughs> you had, were, were they free snacks, so you had to pay like I would? Free. Okay. Ah. See, he gets free snacks. <laughs> there was uh, pizza. <laughs> there was cookies. There's little bags of chips. Oh wow! Little, they had a... little tiny balls of water. They had a spread. Yeah. Damn. Wow. That's why no kids didn't get throw up. Just <laughs> 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 run around eating pizza and Blah. cookies, like <laughs> eating and bouncing. That's right. Blah. I don't feel That's so rough. good. <laughs> they also do raffles too. Oh. They had like four different things that raffle off, but what they raffle off? I didn't see the baskets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do that until like eight twenty and the dance ends at eight thirty. Oh. And Sean was like, by seven I wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> it started at seven and I wanted to go at seven oh three. I was ready to go. <laughs> do they have chairs? Did you sit down this time? I remember last time there's no chairs. You're like, fuck, I had to stand the whole time. They put down some tables so that you can sit. Oh, nice. Hmm. They learned from last year. I, pr I pretty much stand and just walked around most of the time. Nice. No. Oh. Watched her with her friends. Hmm. You do like, like a slow dance? No. Like, <laughs> you stand on your feet. <clears throat> oh. So you. That's what I would expect to go to these dances with. In red. Yeah. But, <laughs> But, uh, Good song. Cheek to cheek. Pretty much the way it always goes is like mm. once we go there, okay, off with your friends. I'm only good just to hold your jacket and your food. Daddy things. Well, that. <laughs> table. Know, that, Put it on the table. There you go. That seems to negate the purpose, I feel. But. Mm. A couple of dads were dancing with the daughter. Oh. Yeah. All right. Were they like. Doing like, no, I don't know. Kind of like, but like old, lame dancing, old school dances, like <laughs> Saturday Night Fever, yeah. doo, doo, doo. some moonwalking. <laughs> one, one was just doing like a little twist thing while the daughter oh. was kind of doing the jumping thing. Ah, oh, what is it with kids in that jump dance move? <laughs> it's like watching a video of like a, a parrot or a bird and jump, the jump, make a net, make it. And the other one was a, a younger kid that was on dad's feet mm. while he's moving. Holding her hands. Almost like puppeteering. <laughs> <laughs> You're my like puppet. puppeteering. My marinette. Fair enough. Nice. What about yourself, Joe? Myself? Well, wow. mm. let's see. Last weekend I watched uh, Fast X, finally. That's the um, Fast and Furious 10. But they call it Fast X. I just, I'm... <laughs> It was all right. The fact that they've made ten of those damn things. Yeah, there's another one on the way. Because oh. this, this was part one of that one. Because I look, I was watching something of a fan-made uh, movie trailer today. Mm -hmm. yeah. They had The Rock in it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I went on IMDb just to see if this was going to happen. 
Yeah. It's supposed to be like the mummy resurrection. Oh, really? okay. And I like didn't Scorpion see Scorpion King. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but um, according to the trailer, it's like the rocks. He's not the Scorpion King in this. He's like hmm. uh, the queen. <laughs> <laughs> the hell you call those guys that go looking for. Like the like the explorers. <laughs> yeah. Archaeologist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, looked, he, looked like, he looked like one of them. Okay, I'm not. I'm not trying to be uh, any type of way, but I don't look at the rock and think archaeologist. <laughs> Me either. Even though his name is Rock, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem like. The I mean, type. he doesn't. Yeah. India, like Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones. I would believe he's an archaeologist. <laughs> yeah. He looks like he'd be a teacher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, the rock just looks like he got lost somewhere like. It. I'm, I was on my way to the gym. Where am I? I, I checked the MDB, and The Rock has like 13 things lined up that he's ready to do. Only 13? Mm. And uh, Mummy Resurrection wasn't one of them, so that mm. was a fan made uh, trailer. Yeah. He's I, hate be that in shit. I did see uh, another Fast mm. and Furious thing on, on the list. Yeah, he was mm. at the very end, like the like, bonus scene. He's coming back as Hobbs. Yeah. That was his character a few movies ago, right? Yep. He was like a. He's, he's going Asian. after them. He's now like they're friends. Cop. <laughs> he's, part, <laughs> he's part of the family. Now, this one, the villain was uh, Jason Momoa. And, like, uh, I hate how they destroy all the nice cars. And, like, the stunts <laughs> are, so are impossible in real life. But they do. They somehow pull off these crazy stunts. Oh, is it like the Dukes of Hazzard? How the General Lee drives away every time? I know, yeah. It's like, he's driving oh. down a freaking a dam that's, like, exploding. <sighs> my Dodge Charger. <laughs> Pretty sure you'd lose your axle if you did that right, jump, right. you know? But. You can literally see the undercarriage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. John Cena was in it because he's his brother. Oh, fun. He's Dom's brother. Oh, he's retired from WWE now, I guess, but mm. still does match. He's like The Rock. He just still does a few matches. Yeah, he was at WrestleMania. Movies mm. and TV. The place went nuts when there's a music came on. He's like... <laughs> So I did that Monday, working on doing alignment on a Volvo. Okay. <laughs> to, I'm sorry, but the way you said Volvo. Volvo. <laughs> Volvo. Nice car. But like you put in the machine and it asks you all these questions, you know, you make a model, blah, blah, blah. And then like one question, it was like, with or without nivel mat? <laughs> what? Exactly. I didn't know what it what? was. So I said no because I didn't know what the fuck nibble mat means. <laughs> and then like I, I learned it's self leveling suspension. Oh. But that's but that's what that's what they use for whoops. Yeah. Self leveling suspension in European cars. Nibble mat. Oh. <laughs> Apparently. Today we've learned. Yeah, I know. We learn every day. We learn something here all the time. I know. <coughs> nibble mat. Sunday. Ooh, Sunday. Since we're on the topic of vehicles. Right. My nephew sent me the link to buy the, um, oh, what the hell's that? The, the control arms. Okay. For the car. All so right. I bought the control arms. All right. And they Rear came front? Uh, to, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> front and rear? I don't know. Okay. I, I, I bought the, what he sent me. Oh, okay. He's like, this is what you need. So I was like, okay. Uh-huh. <clears throat> now, in exchange, apparently. <laughs> I am buying him a blowtorch. <laughs> what? Because he told me that a blowtorch will be easier to replace the control arms. Okay. I said, all right. Now, in the meantime. He didn't start the fire. <laughs> well, I said, I said he, well, because he kept like, oh, I'll buy it because I need to have one anyway. And I said, you know what? I said, you know, because he's doing it for me. So I said, I'll I'll buy it. I said, and I honestly have no need for a blowtorch. So when we're done, you can just keep it. Right? Okay. So now in the meantime, I also needed, um, what are they called? Coolant pipes. Right. Right? And this was the te- the job I was worried about because this is like the $2,000 the, the $2, job. Right? So Jay said, I'll bring it to the guy who does work on my car. So he brought it to that guy. Right. And he says, 
the dealership told Tara she needs two coolant pipes, like the, the upper and the lower or whatever. And this guy went on YouTube to look up coolant pipes in my car because he's like, I don't, I've never done that before. <laughs> and I was like, Uh-oh. and this is an older guy. And he's been a mechanic like forever. And I'm like, you've never had to do a coolant pipe before? That worries me a little bit. Uh, this be a newer car thing. Because usually it's just like a hose. Like coolant hoses. Uh, I'd be fine if it was a hose because then it would be easier. It'd be cheaper. Yeah. So, so he kept asking like, you know, what's the dealership going to charge you? What's the dealership going to charge you? So Jay ended up telling him and he's like, well... You know, I'll be a, a couple hundred dollars less. And I'm like, <laughs> the, what's the point then? Right? I mean, I can just take it to the dealership. Right. And we're done right. But the thing is, is that when the dealership was, was doing their point check and taking all these pictures, yeah. they had taken pictures of it. Ooh. So I sent them to Jay. So when he went to the mechanic to um you know try to get an idea of what this guy was going to charge me and all that stuff he put it on the lift all right so he could see the pipes himself Uh so he was looking for the coolant pipes and he couldn't find them (laughs) Uh oh. (laughs) and then jay is looking at the photos i sent him and going well there's a thing that looks like a fan right there (laughs) okay let's find that fan thing Trace it back. And yeah, that's what he was doing. They were trying to spot what else was in the photo that they could see. And then like, oh, there it is. Nice. So Jay helped him find. Jay was so proud of himself. He's like, I found the coolant pipe for him. Good job, Jay. I was like, can you replace it too? (laughs) Because I really need that done. So then the guy, now I was thinking like I had to get this done like super immediately. Right. And the guy looks at it and goes... You don't want to get card over heat. Yeah. And the guy looks at it and goes, oh, she's got at least six months on this one. And I was like... <laughs> you couldn't even find him now. You're telling me yeah. six months. So I was like, I don't know about six months. I was like, if I can do like two months, then I'll have the dough. Yeah, I was like, six like, weeks. More than likely, I'll just bring it to the dealership. I don't feel like this guy is... <laughs> I'm not confident <laughs> this guy's going to fix it. He couldn't even fucking find it. Yeah. <laughs> That's some bubble gum. Some Hold fucking on. duct tape. Yeah. My my actual hope is that my I can talk my nephew into doing it for me. If right. we can find the pipes, because I have no idea how to buy coolant pipes. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Cars are pain in the ass. Yeah, they are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I shouldn't bitch because it's like... dry. Because like, I haven't really had to fix anything on this car, but jeez. No need to get complicated. <laughs> Christ. Speaking of cars. Yeah. <laughs> Tesla. Oh, God. Has yeah. a feature <clears throat> called Summon. <laughs> Ooh, is it like the Batmobile where he's like, come here? Yeah. <laughs> just, really? It's just like that. Like, I saw a video. This woman's at, at a restaurant and it's raining. She's like, I don't want to get wet. She goes on her phone. And the car starts up, pulls out of the parking space, and drives over to her. And she's like, all right, cool. Gets in the car. And I'm like, by itself, like, People are like watching, like, there's no one driving that car. <laughs> and like the car, it, it doesn't like like fast. It's just you know, it's like a couple miles an hour and it pulls over. I'm like, damn, that feels dangerous. Kit, come get me. I know. Yeah. Like, I can't, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the glass pedal, like, when you hit on it, it lit up and, and Kit. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Summon. Summon. You can summon your Tesla. I mean, how lazy are we? It, like, I mean, if it's it not on that fire, far away. like she can, like she was videotaping it. It was like really like tw- like twenty feet away. And she's mm. like, okay. Well, look it up. I, it's I on believe YouTube. you. I believe you. I just Tesla summon. I mean, pe- nobody's gonna know how to do anything anymore. No. Nope. Because everything's gonna be so automated and be like, yeah. I don't know how to do that. What are you doing? There's an app for that. <laughs> No. No, it's like isn't. if you put a rotary phone in front of a kid, they'll be like, what is this? I remember... Um, yeah, my, reach out and touch someone. My dad had a truck, and the windows rolled down manually. Oh, yeah. And my, my sister borrowed it, and my niece and nephew were in the car, and they were like, oh, it's hot. She said, well, put the window down. They didn't know how to do it, because they never had to deal with the crank before. <laughs> like, how do we do that? What is this? 
Stone Age shit. <laughs> Seat belt with just a lap whistle. <laughs> just, just your lap. That's all you need. Uh, it'll keep you there. You'll get a burn there, but it'll keep you there. Nice. What else is happening? My goodness, I had a whole thing. Did you? So, uh, I saved this. Ooh, you saved it. Because it, it dropped last week. Ooh, what and dropped? Like it's hot. I know. So, Clue. Yeah! The, the film Clue. I love Jesus. it already. Jesus. <laughs> Sony now owns the rights to Clue. Okay. Sony Entertainment. And they are working on Sony? a... Sony? Uh, <laughs> I don't know who owns Sony, if I'm honest. Uh, they might just be their own entity for now. Oh, nice. Because I think Max or HBO and it has a thing with Warner Brothers. Disney owns everything else. Yeah. And then there's Sony. I think they're they're on, unto themselves. Amazon. We own everything. But now there's a, a film, a new, it's supposed to be another new Clue film right. and TV adaptions in the works. Okay. Like under a continuation a, or a reboot? A, like a new thing, yeah. Mm. Wow. Under a new deal between Sony and Hasbro. Okay. I don't know. I'll that, take the movie. Well, I, I was sitting there thinking about it. And I'm like, how could they do that as a TV show? Right. Unless that, unless it was like a murder mystery, like a TV show, like that only murders in the building thing, where they just kind of stretched out the whole thing through the season. Hmm. I don't know. Have like a two part series, like it. Yeah. Is there a release date? No, it's just this is, this is a new in development. Fun. Yeah, that's new and just fun. hearsay. Talk. The other it, thing I heard some rumblings. I heard last week that pissed me off is Jennifer Aniston is producing a nine to five remake. Really? You know that movie Nine to Five? I never saw I know of it. Oh Isn't that with uh, Dolly Parton? Yeah, Dolly mm. Parton and Dabney, Dabney Coleman. Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> Dabney Coleman was a great uh, jerk in eighties films. <laughs> Even in um, Cloak and Dagger, I like he was still kind of surly, like as ah. a dad. Yeah, as the as dad. As a dad, he was an yeah. asshole until the end. Yeah. <laughs> he was in uh, Beverly Hillbillies too, like the the movie, the one with uh, was Jim he? Barney. Mm-hmm. He was, was he? like he was like the banker guy. Oh. They're not millionaires; they're billionaires. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's, it's fun when Dabney Coleman shows up. You're like, oh gosh, something's going to happen. He's still alive? Yes. He's old, but that? yes. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> so I was kind of miffed about that because I was like, that's a good movie. Why, why can't they? I mean, if you're going to re have, if you have to remake a movie, remake a shitty one and try mm. to make it better. Mm-hmm. Like I what? I don't, well, I don't mean, I don't know. What would you want re- remade that was horrible? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you must have a list. I, I'm not in my head. I don't. It's one of those things you got to come across it. Yeah, and then you go, oh, this is shitty. You know what You know what this could do with? A remake. <laughs> <laughs> a remake of a remake. <laughs> it's made. <laughs> uh, now, yes. we were... Uh, <clears throat> we. No, yeah, me and him. No, you and him. You were talking... I think we were chatting on Monday. Okay. Wasn't there like a um, because it I, I, the days have all just blended together. <laughs> you show oh yeah 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 you were showing me that that Megan movie. Yes. Yeah. Oh, with the doll. Yeah, the one with the doll. The now they're doing a, a life size like four foot doll from that. It's just under five feet. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I think it's like fifty five inches they say or something like that. Yeah. Hmm. Full size, like kid size. Does it talk? Replica doll. I don't think so. No. I mean, it doesn't need to because it just stares at you scarily. Mm. Like, I wouldn't want to get up, and go to the bathroom in the night, and see that thing sitting on the sofa, just like. Hey. It's very realistic. Look, it looks just like the one in the film, just a little skinnier. Yeah. But then again, that, as we saw in that uh, YouTube video, mm. that's the prototype picture. Uh-huh. Yeah. So the original might be a little better than that. Well, and you were the, one of the guys. I th- one of the videos I think we were watching. The guy was like, oh, "I don't think this is going to be available in Spirit Halloween or anything." Mm-hmm. But hmm. then I was I was online the other day, and it's apparently nice. Spirit Halloween has announced they're going to have like a new, like very detailed line of animatronics coming up yeah. for the Halloween thing. They, they might include her. <laughs> yeah. Jumps out at you. <clears throat> I thought, oh, that's interesting. Nice. 
It was just a thought. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good thought. Yeah, I, I wanted to show you those videos because it just <laughs> kind of creepy on how excited a lot of guys our age hmm. are, like how excited they are for this doll to come out. <laughs> like for someone who's like in the you know late thirties, early forties, or mid forties, mm. you're a little too excited for a, a full size doll. But it's Megan. Uh, was it a good movie? I've never even seen it. The first forty five <laughs> minutes is so boring. It's so oh. dull and stretched out. It doesn't get good until after that. That sucks. And doesn't the doll like kill like everybody that's mean to the girl? Like yeah, the plot? She, she pretty much is the protector. So of Chucky. Girl. <laughs> She's supposed to be the girl's friend. But she ends up being more like protective of her. I'm your friend mm. to the end. Mm-hmm. That doesn't sound like a very good friend. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't have and her, no one can. They're in talks of, or are supposed to have plans for another Megan movie soon. Mm. Really? Megan um, 2. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a whole thing, but it just left me. Yeah. I hate when that happens. Mm-hmm. Oh, We're shit. getting older. Yeah. Let's see. There are dollar bills out there that might be worth $150,000. I want one. <laughs> give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yes. So. Apparently the, um, the uh, what's it? What are we mint, looking for? The mint. They um, accidentally, like, there was two mints apparently, and they both produced like the same dollar bills with the same serial numbers mm-hmm. by accident. So if you can find like the matching one, it's worth a lot of money. Good luck. So, <laughs> check your wallets. Sounds like a needle in a haystack situation. Go we'll check all the local banks. Mm. <laughs> check all the local banks. <laughs> <laughs> like, give me all the ones you can give me. <laughs> I have two dollars. It's worth one hundred and fifty thousand. Nice. I'm not that lucky. Actually, I have the kind of luck I would have put it in a machine or something. <laughs> like, I'm know. hungry. Bzzz. I wish the I wish that thing was for two dollar bills because I had two of them on my dresser right now. Oh, I have a I have a couple of those, yeah. Mm-hmm. Somewhere Silver in the dollars. House. Somewhere mm-hmm. in the house, I think my parents have tucked away a couple other ones. Mm-hmm. Now, who's on this two dollar bill, President? <laughs> Just curious. I don't know. I mean, Katrina. You got Washington, Lincoln, mm-hmm. Hamilton. Hey Siri. <laughs> Who's on the two dollar bill? I found two: Thomas Jefferson and Declaration of Independence. Thomas I'm a hundred percent. I'm a hundred percent sure they didn't put the Declaration of Independence <laughs> on the two dollar bill. Let me try mine. Hey Siri. Hmm? <laughs> I got a woman going. Hmm? <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Sorry, dear. I know, I know Benjamin is the hundred. Uh, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin is on the yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's on the million dollar bill? Who's on first? Um, Not me. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, mm. You know, the, the last thing that I have. The last thing, okay. Uh, well. Is... um. We, you, you, we're all, well, not familiar, but you've all heard of, like, Polly Shore, yeah? Yeah. The weasel. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, does, he, does he want to be called Paul now? Paul I, Shore? I, okay, I don't like Polly Shore. <laughs> right. And after this whole kerfuffle, I hate him worse. Oh, okay, no. so Polly Shore. I just liked him in the 90s, that's it. Polly Shore, that's like. he was famous. <laughs> uh, less than a month ago. Okay. Polly Shore started doing um, these little videos online. Okay. Because he wants to play Richard Simmons in a biopic. Right. We all remember Richard Simmons, sweating yeah. to the oldies. That's right. Come on, girls. <laughs> you can those, do it. Lift those knees. All four of them. Me. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh. Somebody got that. Sweating in the oldies, jazzer size <laughs> with with Richard Simmons, mouser size. All right, and uh, he wants to play Richard Simmons in a biopic. Okay, right? is Richard so, Simmons still alive? Yes. So what's his, what's his take on it? Well, here's the thing: he's been he's been baiting him online. Now Richard Simmons and like he's been what baiting him? I think like, he said dating him. No, baiting him. <laughs> 
know, just uh, dinner. No. You know, well, movies. Richard Richard Simmons has become like a recluse. He doesn't. I mean, he he has, I think, like a Twitter or something. He has like one social media thing, and occasionally he'll post just to remind people he's still alive. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's not very like active, and he doesn't. I, I think he's at a point in his life, I don't know how old he is, but he just wants to be left alone. And Pauly Shore has been kind of bugging him. Like, I want to play you in a movie kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Poking Excuse the bear. Excuse me. <laughs> he, he did do a short little uh, video. Yeah. As him. Yeah. With some kid that was felt like he was getting picked on or something. Yeah, he he did that in hopes that it would make Richard go, oh, yes, you should definitely play me in a film. <laughs> he did play him well in that. Yeah. It was okay. funny to listen to the way you talked to him. So And ate the donut. Richard Simmons says he, he won't, he, he's not behind it. Like, he won't. I, I mean, Paul, Paul Lee Shore really doesn't need his approval to do it. True. But, he, I mean, Richard Simmons says he, he won't approve it, and Paulie really doesn't want to do it unless he approves it. All right. So he, can get, he can get in trouble for it, right? No. Richard might because th- he's a public figure. Richard might look at it as they're making fun of him. Yeah. And say, I just kind of doing a documentary of his life. Yeah. Wouldn't they be like, What's the difference? I mean, <laughs> you, don't you need approval from the person? Not a public figure. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. I thought it was like, Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but, um, so he's been kind of like, you know, trying to get him to say. <laughs> <laughs> Say yes. So yes. <laughs> R- Richard Simmons sent out this tweet thing, and he's like, I don't he's approve of this. Yeah, he said that, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he said, I don't approve of this, blah, blah, blah. So Pauly Shaw posted a thing on his, his social media that he was up all night crying because he wants Richard to hear his pitch in person so that he'll approve this thing. And the comments were hilarious because they were like, some comments were like, yeah, Paul, you deserve it. Da, da, da. But a majority of the comments were like, you need to stop harassing this man. <laughs> like, stop He's harassing Richard Simmons. <laughs> He's had it. Leave the man. Leave him and He's his a leg. national treasure. <laughs> leave Richard Simmons and his leg warmers alone. He just wants to be left bands, alone. Sweatbands, remember those? Yes. Those short shorts. Yes. And his. Big dude. Afro. <laughs> With his puffy hair. Afro. Leave him alone. <laughs> yeah. Man doesn't want to have anything to do with your shitty movie. He just won't accept it. I won't see it. Yeah. Right. Good luck to good luck to Paulie Shore. <laughs> <laughs> Was well, his I. mom like a like a like a celebrity and that's like his mom and dad owned the Laugh Factory in LA. Oh, okay. Which is the only way he could get on the stage at the Laugh Factory, <laughs> be if he owned it. A lot of famous names came out of there. You know what? Speaking of, speaking um, of. while I have it on my mind, okay, your hat's on your mind. They are releasing a 35th anniversary of UHF. Really? Yeah, the Weird Al UHF movie, nice. and it has a, you can get a 4K. And it's got like a, t- it comes with like a ton of shit. Nice. It's got posters. There's like three or four different versions you can buy. And it's got a couple posters, oh. like magnets, spatula magnets. <laughs> spatula <laughs> City! Which I started laughing. I'm like, oh, spatula, city. spatula magnets. He's got a channel on Pandora. That's fucking hilarious. But it's all yeah. like every, every song, like, obviously his music, but like other like, <laughs> like parody music. Oh, okay. It's awesome. <laughs> like they, they might be giants. Remember them? Yes. Tristan Bow with Tom Tonson. Yes. Did you see what the Weird Al movie? The what? The, yes. The Weird Al movie. Yes. What did you think of it? At first, I was skeptic. Skeptic. <laughs> yeah. But I thought he did pretty good playing Al. Yeah. It was good movie. I forget his yeah. name. Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe. Yes. Yeah. Harry Potter. It was a pretty good movie. Like, he's like, Michael Jackson, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking no town hack. <laughs> They're supposed to do a sequel of that. Nice. Which I don't, I don't know how they could, but whatever. Right. Second oh, half they can do whatever they want. Huh? The second half of his life? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 
The I good, the good half. They can the just one without making, Madonna. They can just making stuff up. I kind of hope they bring bring uh, Rain Wilson back as Doctor Demento. Nice. I thought he did a pretty good Demento. Part of the movie can contain that whole little uh, Coolio's mad because <laughs> at first he thought that they just ripped the song off of the, even though he said no. Yeah. And they're like, well, we're gonna do it anyway. Mm. Al didn't say that. His record company said that. Yeah. And then of course, trying to stop you know, beef. Two three years later. Coolio finally calms down. He's like, all right, I understand now. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I'm cool now. Yeah. All Coolio. of a sudden. <laughs> well, that's that's good. He, he passed away a couple years ago. Did it? It's been a couple already? I thought, it was, yeah. I thought it was like last year. I don't think so. I think it was Damn. a couple years ago. Because he did... Um, he was in his 50s, I think. I think so. He did a... He had a character... Excuse kind me. of a reoccurring thing on Futurama, and that was like the last thing that he did because he was in the reboot for Hulu. Nice. Have you, have you seen all the episodes? Hmm? Have you seen all the episodes? Uh, not of the reboot. I started watching some of them, and I was like, Ugh. "Really? Yeah, I didn't. The writing wasn't as sharp. It was very disappointing. Uh-huh. I hate when that happens." <laughs> In that vein, last Saturday, I had, uh, just to wrap things up, um, well, I'll, I'll talk about what I did on Saturday uh, on the on the audio because it's, uh, you know. Okay. Um, it's audio related. But I had, I had some time to myself because Jay was doing uh, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. shift. Oh, damn. A little OT. A little OT in the pocket. Everybody wants OT out of you two. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> So I said I can sit and watch For the O team. I can sit and watch whatever I want. All right. Right. Why when you say you can? Huh? When you well, say... so I like some things that he doesn't like. Oh. So and when that happens, it's like when we, when he's gone, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you, and now, do, and is it vice versa? You don't like stuff that he likes? Yeah. Yeah, there's stuff that he likes that I don't like. Yeah. Such as. Uh, he likes a show called Red Dwarf. Red which Dwarf. Is, yeah, which is a uh, sci-fi. It's like a, not like Star Trek, but it's a it's a very sci fi nerdy outer space, hmm. Never heard of it. British thing. She likes Star Wars. He doesn't. Guy likes Star Wars. He doesn't like Star Wars. That's fine. I remember That's that. Fine. It's yeah. not for everybody. No. So I uh, I I dealt with Daisy and I got her nice and settled in and then I watched uh, Stir Crazy, with um, Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder. Oh, never seen so it. I, I hadn't seen it in a while, and I wanted to watch it. There you go. It was good. Nice. Again, a film that starts off kind of slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Megan's it, about forty minutes at least. And then it picks up, and it's gold, Jerry. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, yes. so did we have a winner last week? We did not. We did not. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> no winner. The movie was The Heat with Melissa McCarthy. Okay. See, now, when you played the thing, and then you said it's from Heat. The Heat. I, well, yeah, all I heard was Heat. Uh-huh. And I was like, the Al Pacino movie? I don't remember <laughs> that scene in the Al Pacino no, movie. The Heat. <laughs> the Heat is on. <laughs> This week's quote's worth two gift cards, Dunkin' Donuts. You comment the name of the movie on the YouTube video. You're first and correct, you win. It's pretty simple. Mm-hmm. Now it's two gift cards, it's $10. Oh, boy. You ready? I think so. Wait a minute. Are you crying? There's no crying in baseball. <laughs> comment below. <sighs> That's an easy one. I know. I know. Now, in addition to, to Joe, Sean has a... I'm gonna, uh, Joe's got the movie trivia. I'm yeah. going to do a regular trivia from here on. All right. So Can you I have, buzz in? <laughs> <laughs> you have a bonus chance to win. All right. Taking those away if from If you're not me. sure about his, you have a chance to win off of mine. All right. And what's your prize? $5 gift card. The oh. Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. Same rules as <laughs> his. All right. Comment. So mine's a trivia question. On YouTube. All right. What does Goonies... And Kindergarten Cop both have in common. Ooh. 
Be the first and to answer that. like, oh. <laughs> Be the first to answer that one. Okay. Correct. Okay. Uh, and one other thing. Yes, sir. All you Star Wars fans out there. Oof. For tomorrow, blue milk. <laughs> Found at Walmart. Blue milk, really? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So you can enjoy your Star Wars tomorrow with blue milk. What was the, um, was it Rise of Skywalker? What was the first one with Rey? Um, Force Awakens. Force, Force Awakens, because yeah. they they were drinking blue milk in the Force <laughs> Awakens. That was oh. why I was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I walked past the milk and I saw this and I'm like, wow. That's the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> like, that milk's expired. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that milk look odd? <laughs> I drank the blue milk. I should Official be... Star Wars milk. Official. <laughs> Official oh, yeah. Star look. Wars milk. True yeah. Moo. So, what, what's that, is that Hood? It's no. True Moo. That's the brand. No, it's but isn't hood. True Moo like a subsidiary of like uh, Hood I no idea. Garlic? Yeah. I don't garlic. It's supposed garlic. to be like a vanilla flavored milk. Huh. Mm. I, figured I haven't had it yet. Blueberry. <laughs> Well, I'm glad it doesn't taste Save like it for this. <laughs> All right. Uh, blue so milk. Thank you, Blue Milk. Have, right. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next time. Before I send it down the table, here's your fun fact of the week. Fun. Breakfast is the most important meal of the, of the day. It was actually a line created by Kellogg's to help sell cereal. Hmm. Really? That's right. Wow. Check no out shit. the uh, pre-show banter on TikTok and the new trivia episode yeah. show <laughs> have a good weekend may the fourth be with you and happy Cinco de Mayo Ooh, damn on Sunday what a weekend have a good everything happy fourth may it be with you <laughs>